सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द न्यू डे न्यू ब्लॉक एंड टूडे टूडेज टॉपिक इज इट्स अ वेरी इट्स ऑल्सो इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक वट सब्जेक्ट आर वी टेकिंग दिस समर सेमेस्टर एंड विच आर आर फाइनल सब्जेक्ट्स लाइक विच सब्जेक्ट्स वी फाइनलाइज लाइक वी रजिस्टर्ड टिल नाउ टिल नाउ बट आई थिंक दे आर फाइनलाइज वाई वी आर सेंग टिल नाउ एंड वाई वी आर सेंग फाइनलाइज will come step by step so first thing when the semester started uh, what subjects we registered mundu uh, uh, we registered for language for him is b1 and b1.1 b1.1 and for me it is 2.1 is i will stop here watch our you can watch our uh, review of the exams a b1.1 uh, like we discussed the pattern what was there and he also told yeah. about it as a 2.1 so that was the first then and then uh, we register for foundation of digital farming correct and foundation of software engineering yeah and embedded intelligence and collaborative intelligence uh, software process and project management software project and process management and another one is agent based simulation of a complex, complex system and social web mining yeah for the uh, agent based we don't have any class throughout the semester we'll come to that and yeah. agriculture data so these were the subjects that we initially registered and uh, then we discussed and by the we did class regularly we did class regularly and as time pass passed we, we had more knowledge and we had more knowledge and actually and more vision. yeah and and the thing is uh, we have this flexibility like you have seen that how we register exam and how we can deregister exam about deregistering also i have talked in previous videos uh, that before one week we can uh, deregister deregister So, but so we deregistered uh, quite. A, I think let's go orderly. At first, uh, we had our language exam that we have given. Yeah. Then was agricultural data. Agriculture data. So, so agriculture data. Uh, we before few days we deregistered it. Uh, for me or f- for both of us, we were we both have same subjects. Yes. So. Uh, I think you tell what did you find why you uh, why we, uh, as far we discussed uh, just after the last class we discussed uh, we sit together and discussed and for us uh, the pic- uh, I would say the picture was not totally clear yeah. uh, because uh, the professor has uh, some uh, information that uh, made us more confused towards the exam yeah. so uh, although the thing it's not about it's maybe made confused or we can say that the information was not enough Yeah. because the thing is uh, for some of the exams we have previous year questions even if we don't have we have the content but uh, maybe we discuss about agriculture data content in any other video but if we summarize then uh, like some slides had uh, reports and right. news so we were confused how the question can be there yeah. so we thought okay uh, let's drop this one and uh, this year there will be question this is a quite deep subject not many uh, people have taken it it says only one Since mm-hmm. before, so uh, not no, many people has the concept of this. Yeah, so and, and the thing is, like uh, it was introduced last semester, last time, yes, and yes. this time it's like none Second of the question. questions which were came last time or an, any idea will come this time. As professor he, said so. Yeah, professor said so. So and also we thought that um, we attended the classes and we discussed some topics, but it's also about the interest. Um, we read the topic; it's more about yield crops. so we thought maybe uh, we give that next time next time we we'll like and to be confident before yeah, giving the exam yeah even even if you are confident that we are not giving the exam if we we are that con- we we were that confident, we are that confident. That because it's i have, at least i prefer more that uh, if we have the interest then we ch- uh, choose to give the exam of that subject yes sir. so that was the first agriculture data we have the option we can give it next time or maybe we attend Uh, next time I think maybe we let I it. I think the kind of similar logic goes with the foundation of digital farming, right? Correct. We did the foundation of digital farming. Uh, it was one of our last exams uh, here, and both are related. So foundations of digital farming and culture data they both use the agricultural terms. We attended the classes so that we are familiar about the terms, topics, topics and also I think it's good to know. Advance. Yeah, yeah. So I think uh, now we are thinking uh, our major is software engineering. Correct. So we are doing more subjects in that. And Correct. And uh, later, if we see okay, we have a good position, we have everything is good, then we can maybe look into the for digital farming, digital mm-hmm. science kind of subjects. Yeah, because uh, these subjects kind of change your domain. Although you have to do backend development coding in that as well, but the thing is, you need to know the agricultural term as well for these subjects. They discuss that, and so that's why we thought that. 
we just attend the class to explore how it feels till now we are not uh, feeling that much interested in those topics correct correct yeah. and uh, if we uh, think so then we have the chance to give it next time next time next and time. next summer now uh, these were the two subjects one more subject uh, which is embedded intelligence that we uh, thought of deregistering i think the reason being the same Mm. For that, we like for agriculture and in digital farming. We uh, after attending many classes, we came uh, to that conclusion. I, I would say all the classes. We have attended all the classes yeah. of digital farming and found agriculture. And the last after the last class, almost uh, we we decided. Mm. But I would not say it is same for the embedded digital because from because the, the two classes <laughs> from the uh, the initial classes, we are not that much focused on the topics. Yeah. Uh, because uh, those topics uh, that uh, they are doing is. Kind of different from our regular uh, from software engineering topics. Yeah. So yeah. And so and I think CBT people will feel more interested on that topic. Yeah, because it's related to embedded and and the thing is, um, we cannot say much about embedded intelligence because we attended only two classes, two classes. three classes. So and yeah. the thing is, initially, as I told, the curriculum is flexible, so you can attend as many classes and then you can decide what you want to take or not. So uh, then we thought that uh, embedded intelligence. Uh, it's not that much uh, in like just for in a matter of how the question is then why did you register yeah. right no the thing is we it's we registered so that we have the option you if, have you, the options, if, yeah. if you you will not uh, know about the subjects unless and until you attend the classes like so, so we had options so we did, registered it but uh, i think we didn't take enough preparations to know whether it's a good or bad yeah. what is the scenario yeah. after two three classes we are not focused on the classes Yeah, so, so later and also decided, it's, yeah, that's not a good one. And now coming back to the subjects that we are giving. Yeah. First is collaborative intelligence, and uh, we registered for collaborative intelligence. Second subject after collaborative intelligence is software project and process and project management. And I would like to add one point that uh, the exams are coming. As I told you, exam period started. We had our German exams. Now exam period is going on, and. Uh, we thought of uh, doing this that uh, when we uh, give give the exam like the day i gave my b1 exam and he gave his a2 exam then we can uh, discuss about the exam pattern or what questions came and how we are preparing it, that is not generalized how we are preparing we can say before the exam yeah how we are preparing we'll say before, the exam. before the exam on the day of the exam we can tell you uh, the exam questions and after the exam maybe we can tell you our how we felt how we felt. so our feelings our feelings about the <laughs> exam so this is the pattern that uh, i'm thinking maybe it might be quite informative but this is all personal it's it's also part perspective based perspective based yeah. it's it's not i would don't say it is generalized like many people will have different experiences from the same subject so maybe we try to share our experience this is a disclaimer <laughs> and after collaborative uh, we are giving sppm software project process management next uh next is foundation of software engineering foundation of software that is the foundation of our major yeah. although we did we'll come to that later what we did in winter first what you are doing now in summer and then uh, agent based uh, simulation of complex systems systems for agent based simulation of complex system the pattern is quite different maybe we discuss that once we attend the class the one thing that we can tell is that it has three classes after that the exam is there yeah exam is there but the classes has not been started this is quite unique thing that the Just entire semester before the exam there will be three classes and then there yeah. is exam yeah yeah so this is quite unique thing maybe we discuss about agent based once we attend the agent based class and then we can talk about it and after agent based after after agent based we have some social web mining right social web mining we have social web mining that is our first oral exam so that will also be a good thing that uh, to tell and i felt that in collaborative and social web mining was quite related to our interest as well like many topics were quite similar, the same similar similar, similar, similar. The same, yeah. like the similarity topics and maybe we discuss that once we talk about uh, subjects with discussion yeah so this is the thing and uh, so if we summarize the exams that we are giving for this summer semester 2023 are <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, first german which is already done second collaborative third foundation of software engineering Four. software software project and process management fifth and agent based solution of complex systems seventh and uh, the last one is social web social mining, web mining. Yeah. social web mining so these are all the exams i counted seven yeah we have it should, it should six it, it is only six <laughs> it is only six german collaborative intelligence software project process management foundation of software engineering 
agent based simulation of complex system and social web mining six subjects we are giving one is already done five are remaining and yes all and one more point is all of these subjects are four credits yeah so none of them are like big or eight credit subjects yeah small small subjects so these are four credit subjects so maybe uh, we can discuss about our experience re regarding to these subjects once the exam comes and then we can share more detail about them and what we are de what we have deregistered sir <laughs> we have also dis discussed that summarize the summarize is, is agricultural data yeah and foundation of digital farming yeah and embedded intelligence yeah so these three we deregistered and so i think this is the advantage also that you as many classes as possible you attend initially and then you can decide and filter out what suits your interest and yeah that's it that's now we don't have any classes we try to discuss subjects and uh, the exam period is going on so there are no classes in universities now and yeah that's it and uh, you might see muntasi more often because we, during the exams also we will try to connect and we will try to talk with you regarding our we will study together so we will talk together we will we can talk together about it and yeah that's it you want to say something ciao <laughs> you want to say ciao <laughs> sir that's it for this video i hope uh, this was informative and stay connected we'll talk about it uh, in further videos one more thing we will also start talking about since our exam period is going on um, so i'll i'll try to get time uh, maybe we get time it's not trying i think we get time so whenever we get time i'll try to post the uh, uh, accommodation related uh, videos as well uh, maybe we can talk about it so you can stay connected so we can talk when our exams comes because we are preparing for exams as well so uh, parallelly with exams we can talk about accommodation so stay connected and that's it for this video as you know like comment share subscribe it doesn't take much time bye bye see you in next vlog ciao ciao <laughs>